I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. This is so fun. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no. Block stamina damage. I'm gonna go. I need. I'm going to stick with defensive moves. Cal's defenses are improved, allowing him to take less block stamina damage. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. Hey, BD1. Hey now. What's that, BD1? Oh. You got a scan? Oh, now we can scan it. I wanted to scan it before. Mm -hmm. Oh. My friend. It appears the Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. The fuck Strange. Is... For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. The Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. There's more to be discovered on death of me. Mm -hmm. Another one? I'll check it out. A faded mural located on Dolgano, not for not far from the Zepho vault. It's likely it likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any specifics. I'm gonna kill you now. Come on, I parried. Help! Bogdo defeated. <laughs> Ogdo Bogdo. Oh. 
Increase maximum life. Cool. This boggling fought back against an Ogdo, desperately trying to protect its family. Oh, I didn't need to read that. I hated how these, I hated how these grow back. Like, that's so silly. Like, like they're pipes. But once you destroy them, they should just be destroyed. They just stay destroyed. Is that like too much to ask? They're like, all these pots are back. Like, I don't like that. That's silly. The premonition. My friend, entering the vault gave me a premonition, just as it did for the Zoppo. I saw the fall of the Jedi, the overwhelming power of the dark side spreading across the galaxy. We must act quickly. I need to inform the council. Don't fall behind, BD-1. <laughs> Well, this is embarrassing. Here we go. <laughs> um, I just got here. I, I was just looking at the ship. Just uh, looking around. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! It's a, get it's out of there! Get out of there! It's that not a is BD1. dog. He's with or us. An I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patrolling oh. meat fabric? Okay. <laughs> not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of force sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. <laughs> oh. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Pop. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get Holocron. it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Is it here? I had an experience that changed my perspective. I mean... So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. Yeah. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir or Zepho? It's your choice. Zepho. Dathomir is a dark place. It's dangerous. Dark always means dangerous. The journey begins. Cal Kestis. A former Jedi Padawan has been hiding out on Bracca since Order 66. Cal joined a scrapping crew and lived in hiding for years. 
but blew his cover when he used the force to save his friend Prof from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless second and ninth sisters to attack him. Carl was narrat- narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals, Sari Junda and Gris Dritus. Now they find themselves on the remote planet Bogarno, ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. Rebuilding the Jedi Order After revealing she no longer uses the Force, Sarah sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal find a, found a friendly droid named BD-1, who joined his quest. On their journey, Cal reached out to the Force, remembering his ability to wall run. Instead, inside the vault, BD projected a message from Master Eno Eno Cradova, detailing how he hid a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Holocron. I like that word, holocron. I don't know why. Can we talk? Seer, can you feel the Force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. Is Grizz making food? Can we even eat the same food? I doubt it. When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. Okay. Hey, Grizz, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy, but you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embarring glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. How do you know he hates nature? I wonder where we should go next. So that's the main objective. So should we go here then? All right, we'll go to Dathomir. Dathomir. Setting course for Dath. Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. He must have had the reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to the Calvary. Right. They use the force? What, like Jedi? <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. Don't have to tell me twice. The sisters of Dathomir were a coven of powerful force sensitives, skilled in the use of magic, an expression of the force known to Jedi or Sith. They previously ruled Dathomir. Night sister society was strictly matriarchal, with the coven answering to a mother who also ruled the power Night Brother class, the lower Night Brother class. Their civilization was destroyed by the behest, at the behest of a vengeful Count Dooku after Asajj Ventress and her sisters attempted to assassinate him. Well, you know, you deal with the Sith, what do you expect? Like... Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. Some seat. <laughs> This is so cool! Death on me. I am nervous to go here. I normally wouldn't have gone here. Uh, yes. Um, I mean, surely if it's too difficult, the game wouldn't suggest it, you know? 
Cal, be careful here. This is a deadly, dangerous place. You already said I that. I need a second. What do you mean? No, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. It's pretty. Kind of. <laughs> well, good thing we weren't standing there. What is that thing? You wouldn't count on him being friendly. No. Launching range attacks of venomous saliva upon death corpse will emit a toxic acid. When encountered, they can project venomous saliva. Caution should be taken. Cool. I was um hoping that there would be like a like a tip or like a special way maybe to fight them, but no. Just stating the obvious. Boo boo. <laughs> Don't fall behind, beauty one. He's all right. Hydratus. Once filtered, the fil filaments contract to lock clean air inside, creating a humid environment where the hydratus can absorb the small amount of water. Okay. Interesting. I like the wall run. I think I think it's cool. Can I block the poison? I think I just can. Ah! Is there another one? What's all the commotion? Oh. against its aggressive and ruthless attacks, easily thrown off by repeated parries. Yep. Got a skill point! Woo! Woo Don't fall behind, BD1. Do I get skill point? Do I get um, XP for this? Mushlings. Mushlings are an essential ingredient in the ink Nard sisters and Nard brothers use for their tattoos. The mushlings, pod, the mushlings pods are boiled down until they become a thick yellowish paste. From their clays, ash or other pigments are mixed in to create a variety of colours. I mean, this doesn't seem like a nice place to live. Maybe it just looks like this because it was attacked by the Sith. I don't know. There's a flag. Alright. So. 
Yeah, so I'm blocking the poison. Okay. Oh my god! I need one! So, do I still have my point? I think I do. Oh, uh, what? So, I have to do all that again? Oh my god. I don't like that. I jumped. Jump! <laughs> Fucking hell! You missed him! Some meds be what? I need a meditation station. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind having to do all this again if I know that my progress was saved. You know, I mean, I, I don't know, it might be. Um, I hope so because I can see this getting incredibly tedious, you know, otherwise. Oh! An XP restored, okay. I guess that's how. Alright. I forgot about that. I'll look. Bur burial pods were an essential part of Night Sister fun funeral rites. Readying each component of a pod was a painstaking practice. The cloth wraps were washed three times in magical waters. The twine hand bra braided while reciting the spell of protection, and the bodies cleansed with fragrant oils. Hmm. I tried to scan that before, but nothing happened. Oh, come on, that's not fair. I 
would like some more stims, please. The night sister practicing her. Okay. Interesting. Years before they were wiped out, the night sisters came together in this area to practice their magic. All right, we can go here. Go there, arrow. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You trespass, Jedi. You must be a night sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to... just respawn in the beginning of that fight no um we're going to go finally yeah Glad no back in one piece. we're just gonna there go there were some close calls out there i need a second so <laughs> so like die and you have to start all over again oh wait no you have to kill the the enemy that killed you to get all your xp oh fucking hell um great I died to the night sister battle did all my xp go with them or is all my xp with this enemy here like does that xp count all the xp i got before i fought the night sister i think look i'm going to kill this thing and then we'll we'll see So I'm gonna hit this thing once, get my XP back, and then run back to the ship, and then just do the main quest because 
I'm really like, I'm, I'm hoping that as we level, I level up, simple things are going to be boat belt bolstered up a lot more, you know, like just my force power because because it doesn't really seem to last very long you know um things like that you know um just little things like that i feel like once i upgrade them it'll be a lot easier to play you know i mean obviously <laughs> stating the obvious have to kill them you just hit them once yes it's okay Grease. you'll be okay you're with jedi it's safe <laughs> i'm safe who's there oh yeah are we ready to go yeah let's leave just checking on you hang on we'll come back later so next remember me? I came to Bagano looking for my former master, Eno Cordova. Hi to you too. You two must have spent a lot of time together alone on that planet. We must have left right after. Good luck, Jedi. May the Force be with you. Let me guess, it's going to be some locked no, kid, message hidden in him, like, you know, that we unlock later. Look at a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. Couple bombs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch. Once I crack this. Cal, over here. You okay. did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof. A uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. PD wants a helpful droid. 
He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Yes, awesome. Okay. Two points. All right. Um, holding slow allows Carl to slow his target for a longer duration. Yes. So hold it. Okay. Okay. Cal, <clears throat> Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target. Cal oh, two skill points. Attacking after a quick evade allows Cal to quickly perform a kick attack. Attacking out of a sprint allows Cal to perform a special lightsaber attack. I want to see. I just want to see if I can do this. No, I can't. Okay, that's what I thought. Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Alright. Okay, hold Y. Okay. 